Hey guys, welcome back to Civil Learning Online. As in the previous video, we were discussing about the Green's theorem. So let us begin with that topic, same topic. And here I have selected a numerical, and the question says evaluate integration of y minus sine x dx plus cos x dy, where c is the triangle formed by y equals to zero, x equals to pi by two, and y equals to two x by pi. So uh, without any further delay, let's get started. So moving to add the solution of this numerical, first of all, first of all, let us uh, draw a triangle using those coordinate points, and so let us see first of how the triangle using this point is formed, and uh, after that we will uh, solve this numerical further. So see here, we have y equals to zero, x equals to pi by two, and y equals to two x upon pi. And uh, if the triangle is originated from origin, then here we will have both x and y equals to zero. And uh, after that, here we have x equals to pi by two. So here it is x equals to pi by two, comma zero. And similarly, at x equals to pi by two, we will have some value of y here. And uh, what will be that value? We will move to our. Uh, we will go uh, there also. First of all, let us see here. We have another equation that is y equals to two x upon pi. Means here we have the condition which is given here that is y equals to two x upon pi. Here on this line, x is equals to zero. We have considered a small strip of this triangular portion. So we uh, here we have we have some value of x. And y is zero on this line here, and similarly here the value of y is equals to y is equals to two x upon pi. So as we proceed along this line from origin to here, uh, the value of y is increasing in the form y equals to two x upon pi. Here as x equals to zero. Here, as x equals to zero, y is uh, y is also zero. Similarly, when we move here, we have uh, x equals to pi by two. Means uh, here, as x equals to pi by two, we will have y equals to put the value of x equals to pi by two here. Then we will have uh, y equals to one. Now, now after this, let us rewrite the equation, and we have integration of C y minus sine x bracket close plus cos x dy and uh, this is our solution we are proceeding with the solution and we have the equation that is Green's if we apply the Green's theorem in this equation then we have a Green's theorem equation is given by integration of C m dx plus n dy equals to integration of surface area curl n upon curl x minus curl f m upon curl y dx dy so now if we compare this equation with this portion we will have comparing we will have m equals to y minus sin x similarly n equals to cos x now uh, from this now if we see this for this much portion we have compared and we have got the value of m and n now we need to integ find the integ derivative of n and m uh, to be able to use this theorem green's theorem so if we find curl m upon curl y means we need to find the derivative of this portion with respect to y so one minus derivative of sin x with respect to y will be 0 so it is going to be 1 similarly curl n upon x means we need to find the derivative of cos x with respect to x it is going to be minus sin x now put the value of these two uh, curl m by curl y curl n by curl x in this equation then we will have here 
डबल इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ एस कॉर्ल एन अपन कॉर्ल एक्स मीन्स माइनस साइन एक्स माइनस कॉर्ल एम अपन कॉर्ल वाई इज वन टाइम्स डी एक्स डी वाई नाउ टेक द कॉमन माइनस साइन कॉमन फ्रॉम दिस टू टर्म एंड पुट द लिमिट सो ऑन टेकिंग माइनस साइन कॉमन वी विल हैव सपोज लेट एस पुट द लिमिट ऑफ एक्स एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज चेंजिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू पाई बाई टू फ्रॉम ओरिजिन टू पाई बाई टू इट इज गिव हेड ऑल्सो हेयर सो जीरो टू पाई बाई टू सिमिलरली इफ यू पुट द लिमिट ऑफ वाई y here then value of y is changing from 0 to 2x upon pi it is given in the question and uh, here also it is clear from the diagram that the value of y is here and uh, on upper portion upper limit of the y is changing with respect to 2x upon pi so we will use that term 0 upon 2x upon pi and here we have taken the minus sign common so 1 plus sin x multiplied by dx times dy now well, this is the limit of y so we will first integrate this portion with respect to y so rewrite as it is for x pi by 2 and integrating with respect to y then it will get y plus y sine x and the limit will be 0 say 0 to 2x upon pi dx now from here you can put uh, the limits here so minus integration 0 say 0 to pi by 2 and y, y in place of y we will put 2x by pi plus 2x by pi multiplied by sine x sorry this is x here and uh, on putting the uh, lower limit means 0 plus 0 means minus 0 and integration with respect to x now from here we can take 2 by pi common so take minus 2 by pi common integration 0 to pi by 2 x plus x sin x dx now integrate this portion with respect to x so I am going to use this portion now we have equals to minus 2 by pi integration of x with, res with respect to x will be equals to x squared by 2 plus and this x times sin x we have the formula for integration this is algebraic multiply by the trigonometric term L I let formula we need to use I L A T formula for to find the integration of this term so we can uh, so if we uh, if you ask me what is islet formula then it says that integration of integration of first time second first time second integration dx equals to integration of first formula is first times integration of second dx minus integration of derivative of first derivative of first with respect to x multiply by integration of second with respect to x whole integration this is the formula and here you can use it directly what we need to do is we have uh, this algebraic and this is trigonometric so first algebraic and then trigonometric this is first item this is second item so uh, we can simply multi uh, if we find the integration of this term using this formula we can uh, use this fo whole formula here also or you can simply find see how we can do there he here this is first so write it as it is first multiply by integration of second sine integration is minus cos x so minus cos x and uh, plus this derivative of first is 1 and uh, integration of second and integration of minus cos x is sin x and put the limit here 0 to pi by 2 now you may have a question that how for how long we need to do this integration until we get this 
here x value or the first term as unity means 1 we need to proceed the same step derivative of first integration of second derivative of first integration of second and which it will go on adding with each other and uh, when we get one term one item as zero means if we do not get this form islet form means algebraic multiply by the trigonometric or logarithmic multiply by the algebraic then all up to that we can proceed like this and uh, now uh, put the limit here so we will have minus 2 by pi multiply by pi square by 2 plus so we will have here cos 90 means 0 and uh, x equals to pi by 2 and similarly we have x here x square here see x square means x equals to pi by 2 so pi square by 2 square means 4 and this 2 is at it is as it is here and here we have x equals to pi by 2 and cos 90 means sine 0 equals to 0 plus and uh, sine uh, pi by 2 sine 90 means 1 and this cos 0 equals to a uh, cos 0 equals to 1 but this x multiply with that then it gets 0 and sine 0 is 0 so from here we will have here minus 2 by pi multiply by pi square by 8 plus pi square by 8 plus 1 so multiplying with this outer value with the inside term we will have here minus pi by 4 plus 2 by pi and this is our final answer and i hope you enjoyed this today's lecture see you in the next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself and in the upcoming video we will discuss about some other method